Disclaimer, I have the most fucked up current household known to man, so I just wanted to warn you before you watch the rest of this video. Don't say I didn't warn you if it's weird. Hey guys, it's JJ Simmer, and welcome to my first ever current household on this channel. I've made one before on my old channel, but it was a piece of shit, so don't even bother watching it. I don't think you were going to, but I just wanted to tell you you don't have to, so you didn't feel bad about not doing it. Anyways, guys, I feel like every current household video just starts with a view on the house, so in efforts to be, you know, like everyone else, because that's my main goal in life. I decided to do mine with a view of the house, and I wish it was my house. Like, I wish I built it. I could be like, this is my kick-ass kick kick house I built, but I did not build this. This is a little Simsy build. I'm sorry. Like, I think I showed her out in every video I do. I'm like, little Simsy, little Simsy, and it's a little too much. I'll be honest. Like, it used to be fun. It used to be cute, but now it's, like, a little too much. It's like, are you in love with little Simsy? And the answer to that question is yes. No. No. Backtrack. I'm not in love with her. I just love her houses, and I didn't want to build a house. I was like five bedroom house, and I didn't want to look all over the gallery too. And I follow her on the gallery, so I was like, I will build them a house eventually. I've been like, it's been on my to do list for like months. I'm like, build current household a house, but eventually, and hey, it can be a speed build, so two in one. But anyways, guys, we are going to be looking at my current household. And I used to be like the type of person who was like had a new current household every month. But I don't play The Sims as much as I used to. I just, I do a lot of, not a lot, yeah, a lot. Like, I do three Let's Play parts a week. Three or two. So I, and I play The Sims a lot, like, on video. So I don't play it as much on free time because I enjoy doing videos more. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. I enjoy playing more for Let's Plays or just for like mod reviews than I do current households. So that means I don't play my current household often, but I used to be the type of person. I don't even know why I decided to tell you that. But what I was going to say is I used to be the type of person who was like new current household like every month. But since I don't play as often, I've actually had this current household for like a year, a little less than a year. Because I've just been like loving playing with this one family and like I'll play them like once a month. No, I'll play them like I'll get like in a phase where I'm all about current household for a week and I'll play it like five hours a day. And I'm like, okay, don't need to play with my current household for another month. It's weird, I know. But hey, that just means there's a lot of progress on this current household. And I feel like we got to start this current household video with the family tree, which is it's not fun. You probably have seen like snippets of it in my mod review. Okay guys, it all started with Savannah Lee, who was deceased by old age. I'm actually really upset. Actually, she's been like gone for like two months, so I'm not that upset, but I'm a little obsessed, upset. And P.S. I have my Sims lifespan on long. I don't know if that matters, but she was like, I think she had like over 120 days, so she lived a long life, so it's fine. But it started with Savannah, which was a sim that I made, and then she had two children. She actually adopted Carter, because I remember, I started her, like, I started playing with her before Toddlers came out, and she was just kind of like a single sim for a while, and then Toddlers came out, I was like, ah, I need a toddler. But she didn't have a boo, so I was like, fuck it, she's gonna be a badass single mom who just adopts someone so she adopts someone oh god so she just adopted carter i'm sorry i feel like i swore a lot in this video it's not over but i've been swearing long i don't care i like it <laughs> swearing makes me laugh but anyways she adopted carter and then she gave birth to emily so carter is dadless i know we're really upset but <laughs> but what's her face um this is like the, my main sim to emily her dad is Advik Savalin. I don't know. I wanted... Okay. So, first, were toddlers before vampires? I think they were. So, first toddlers came out. I was like, I need a toddler. And then vampires came out. I was like, I need a vampire. So, I moved into our house for a while. They were in love, okay? They had a good... They had a good run. And then I moved him to into our house. And it was like, they were like in love. They had a daughter. But honestly, I'm going to be honest with you. He kind of got annoying. He got on my nerves. Like, handling vampires, not as fun as you could think. So, I was just kind of like, bye. And I don't like his traits. You can't see them now, but I don't like them. But anyways, we had her, who is coincidentally not a vampire. 
I kind of wish she was, but she's not. She's a serious musician. But anyways, we're going to go into Carter's little family tree. Because Carter is married to Anna Calise, who I love. And then they had, what's his name? John Lees, who I also love. I love John. And let's just look at Annika's family tree. Annika, her mom is Shana, Shana, Shanana? Why can't I say names? It sounds like I'm doing something like not fun <laughs> i just can't say name but yeah this is her mom and this is her brother who emily is actually super close with and they were actually friends with benefits for a while which i stopped that because i was like that's a little eh i didn't know if i liked that <laughs> because like it's her sister-in-law's brother that's a little i don't know how i feel about that but anyways he is married to deja who has a lot of kids well they have this kid together who is Juniper? Juniper? I like that. Juniper. And then she has this kid, Diana, who he, like, kind of, like, adopted. You can't officially adopt kids, but, like, you can be their caregiver, so yeah. Because, like, every- I really like Veer, so every once in a while, we will play in his household. And I also like Deja, so. She used to be an alien, but I was like, let's quit this. Because there's something wrong with aliens in The Sims, I swear. But anyway- Ah, wrong family tree. Help. Okay, anyways. Carter, obviously, and what's her face? Emily. <laughs> Emily are s s related. And then Emily actually has a daughter who is pretty new. Well, she's a toddler, so yeah. And she had a daughter with Caleb Valtor, who she had an affair with. <gasps> and I said I never had affairs in my Let's Plays, but don't worry. I have them in my current households. But yes, her and Caleb had an affair and had... Bailey Lee's who is super cute. They were together. They were like really in love and then they broke up and then recently They just started like their fling is back on and I will explain that soon. But anyways she, uh, Bailey has a half-sister who is Jennifer Valtor and there is M Mazima his wife. I don't know. I've actually played in their household truth be told for some reason There's something like I don't want these two to get a divorce <laughs> <laughs> like I've been keeping them on. I just like the storyline guys sue me. Okay, but anyways, that's the family tree We're also just gonna look at like Emily Lee's I think officially wait walls down is our like main sim She's pretty cute, right? Should I have shown you them and create a sim? No, I don't feel like it There's gonna be many of these don't worry and most of them will be less explaining than this one because this is the first one So anyways, let's look at all of their relationships just so I can explain it. So Caleb Okay, guys her and Caleb actually, like, just... Oh, she's on birth control. Oh, they're wahoo thing. They just wahooed. <laughs> so I was trying to show you that. They were broken up because he tried to bite her. And she's like, no, 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 no. But then they just renewed their fling. And that is actually why he's in our household. Because I wanted to control him. Because I was like, he's going to stay the night. Like, I honestly don't know why he's down here. Because this is a secret fling. So if he's going to be down here, he's going to need to get changed. Because that's a little suspicious. Because, like, it's not game, please. <laughs> it's not suspicious that he's in our household. But it's suspicious that he's in our household in his underwear. Because, like, if he's in here, it's like he's kind of always just comes around. Because he's a good dad, kind of goodish so he kind of comes around and just hangs out with his daughter so that's not suspicious it's just suspicious now it's so suspicious like nobody will suspect a thing so it's fine but let's go back to emily game why are you being so slow let's pause it okay so we are going back to emily who is our main sim but anyways she they're really close they've always been really close even when they broke up they're really close like you can see they've been acquaintances sweetheart awkward friends broken up best friends soulmates it's complicated that's what they are right now it's complicated because he's married and she actually has a thing with Corey, who like i think they have a like yeah they have a higher romance and actually higher friendship but she just keeps on going back to caleb i don't know but these two aren't married and dating they're just super like in love i don't know she is she non-committal she's not non-committal i don't know i just think she'll always kind of have this torch as i like to call it for caleb so that's unfortunate i don't know i really like him and he's kind of like the opposite of caleb i feel like just in the way that he's not a vampire and he's really good and oh my god he's jealous what if he saw caleb over here that would not go good but i don't know i just like them it's kind of like a love triangle that was me attempting to make a triangle on the sims 
And then, who who are other relationships that I need to explain? She was pretty close with her mom. Oh, let's see if we can find... Her mom was actually married. It doesn't say that, but he, she was married. Can I find... To Yusuf, who was... A, I think it, that was Emily's butler for a while. Yep. <laughs> and I was like, convenient, because I never let my sims go to meet men. So, it's just like, he's in our household, woo. I, obviously, when they got together, I was like, you're not the butler anymore. And truth be told, I thought they were closer, but... Obviously, they weren't. I kind of wish they were. But you can see we have Emily and Yusuf's grave right there. No, Savannah and Yusuf. But, like, they used to be ghosts who kind of roamed around. But then I kind of got annoyed and scared by that. So I was like, you're done. Well, it looks like he's, like, about to twerk. He's probably just, like, about to poop or some shit. I don't know. But anyways, these are her relationships. She's kind of close with Deja. I don't know. They're not too close. She is not close with her dad. Like, honestly, I don't remember the last time we saw her dad. But look at her dad's traits. Like, he's insane, hot-headed, and self-assured. Like, no thank you. I'm sure, like, we will encounter him sometime. And I think it's funny because he's a vampire. She's not a vampire. Or, but her daughter is actually a vampire, which... I don't know if you can tell. Well, you can't tell by looking at her. But in her traits, where can you tell? All I know is she's a vampire, guys. I don't know how you can tell. Maybe if I click on her. Um, no. But like in Create a Sim, there's always there's like a symbol that shows there's a vampire and she's a vampire, which like I'm kind of excited about. But I don't know. P.S. I can't move Sims out, which is like. I just moved two of my sims out, and I'm really tempted to move back them back in. I'll explain that later. But th her and her brother lived with their mom till the very end. But I was like, when her mom dies, we have to live out, move in her, her brother and his wife. Which is kind of weird, but whatever. And Carter, as I said, he's just here visiting. He will eventually go back to his wife and child. But that's not now. Oh, he seems... Ew! He's friends with our dad? Ugh, that's gross. I feel like she has some daddy issues and, like... That's why she's in a vampire. But anyways, that's weird. And then he is Jean Lise, who is obviously he's really close with his dad. His dad is Carter, who we were talking about earlier, because that is Emily's brother. And then his mom is Annika, who she he's not that close with. He's also pretty close with his aunt, who he lives with, and she's also his caregiver. I okay. There's a storyline to go with it, but basically, I didn't really care about Annika and Carter that much. I felt like, okay, these Sims are super boring. I like them, just not enough to keep them in my house, you know? Because Annika was a computer programmer, which I actually really liked about her. And then Carter was a painter, which I actually, I really wanted him to put in his paint shop, but it didn't work out. Eventually, right? But anyways, I was just like, you know what, I'll move them out. We still play with them. Every we. I still play with them every once in a while, but I move them out. But then, since Carter no that's not Carter what's his name John and his aunt are so close I was like you can stay in the house like it just kind of works out better that way for me because I like playing with teens and he has like a teen club and all that and it's cute but anyways his girlfriend actually lives here which is a little bit awkward and I think it's kind of like the reason why I want to stay here because he knew that his parents like their new house didn't have room and they wouldn't let it don't worry it's actually not that weird because they are in separate rooms it's still a little weird but I don't know Deja is his girlfriend and her pa her mom died her dad's still alive but she has very little relationship with her dad but her mom died and she didn't want to live with her stepfather so she moved out originally but then she's kind of lonely so then Carter was like move in with me and then I feel like Emily's pretty cool and I she does really like Deja too and I feel like she's like a mentor for Deja like I've when they're when they get to be best friends I've decided that Deja's actually she's gonna like adopt Deja so yeah that's why I kept her in plus I love Deja and it's gonna be a little awkward because I don't know if Deja and John are forever but right now like they have a really good relationship and stuff like that but I like that they have separate rooms because I feel like if they had the same room it'd be a little awkward like sometimes don't worry they sleep in the same room winky face but most of the time they're in their separate rooms because like I don't think his aunt's like yeah you, you, she can move into your room she's not that cool but anyways let's look at John John is super fun he's oh I guess he's not that oh he's friends with his cousin which is nice I want to be closer with his cousin to be honest because like they're a pretty close-knit family I feel like like he's good friends with his aunt I want him to be best friends soon like I'm always kind of working on their relationships which in pr previous current households I really wasn't really focused on that and John here let's just I guess I should show you these guys traits right Jesus JJ what are you doing well she is 
a musical genius and she's in the music career and she is what level is she oh she's level six good for her oh shit she needs to get the piano skill um and she is romantic a music lover alluring a muser and creative so those are her traits his traits don't really matter because he's not in our household but he's a perfectionist and a genius and look like all of his character values are great because his aunt is a great parent, I guess. I don't know. I didn't do anything. And he is actually an A student. So, like, he's just he's just great. <laughs> I love him. And I'm super excited because I've decided that when he, like, like what? <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, right. When he graduates, he's going to be in the science career. And it's so exciting because I have not had a current household sim in the science career. So, I'm very excited for that and then Deja what is her traits she is outgoing and self-assured gregarious and loud I guess from childhood phase okay he also has a childhood phase that I'm tr oh and he's a quick learner picky eater honestly I need to do more about that because I've been trying to get him out of it but it's, it's been rough guys and she's just independent and her character values aren't great but hey She's a toddler for a long while. I love long age spans. Like, ugh, it's, it's just my life, these long age spans. All right, I was showing you his relationships because those are very important. But anyways, he, well, he's close with Deja. But honestly, I kind of like Sabrina better, who is his best friend. It's his good friend, but that's just because I always forget to make them best friends. Who is his best friend, though? And she is good, bookworm, and yeah, that's it. I just, I don't know. I just feel like... <laughs> I, I like them together. She comes over quite a bit too, but obviously, like they, do, oh God, help me! Boom! They don't have anything re well, romantic going on, but maybe one day he's okay with his mom. His mom hates children, which I think is another reason why they were like peace, Carter. Like his dad and him are super close, and he's like old enough to like live on his own technically. I feel like so. I don't think it was like he didn't feel abandoned. His parents didn't feel like they abandoned him and I think Annika was like thank god I gotta move away from that annoying toddler Bailey you know and then Renee he's kind of close with her I don't know they're all in this teen club which is fun oh and he's not close with however she is quite close with if I remember correctly yeah like they're almost best friends like she's quite close with him we'll go look at her relationships later too so oh and yeah princess she's also in their club they're kind of close and then Veer well Veer's just his uncle I thought they were closer, truth be told, but then Deja, and yeah, is this like his step-grandpa, is that a thing? I guess that's not a thing, but I was just wondering, but <laughs> then she's actually like the leader of this teen club, let's just show you that briefly, is that the club, and obviously Deja's the leader, it has John, Princess, Owen, Renee, Sabrina, their legs are dancing, listening to music, watching TV, being friendly with everyone, and being funny, and I I don't really remember where their club hangout is. Oh, no. It's like I have a teen community lot set down to that. So, well, they go to hang out. I actually haven't done a club gathering in a while. I have club points. Good to know. But anyways, did I say your trades? I don't. Yeah, I did. Eh. Ooh, her character. Val She's very irresponsible. But that's because, like, Emily isn't tech. Like, Emily, like, if you look, I'll click on her via Emily. If my computer would load. Uh, <laughs> but Emily cannot do anything parenting, so she's kind of like parentless at the moment. So thank you, phone, for always ringing when I fucking record a part. Oh, I just realized I have two Dejas in this kind of current household. Well, one of them doesn't really matter because she's just married to Carter's uncle. Yeah, Deja and Deja. Whatever. This is Deja Mersha. Or I, I can't say any last name i apologize anyways we're still looking at it. she's friends with karina so sabrina karina jeez sabrina she's good friends with emily like i definitely think she looks up to emily she's okay with carter she's okay with caleb Is she friends with her yeah she actually um she takes care of her quite a bit i think so that's nice she's friends with owen as i said she doesn't really have a relationship with annika her dad and her oh, okay he's about to die he's non-committal like him and her mom as far as i know weren't married or anything so it's not serious um she, this is her best friend renee princess is also a good friend of her this was her mom miko was actually her mom until miko died i think i might have accidentally killed miko if i'm being honest but you can't prove anything and then there is her brother who's a friend and i honestly need to go over and hang out with him more because he's stuck with her stepfather who is him who i don't know uh, 
I don't know. I just wanted her to be out of that house. At first, I just put her on her own apartment. But I was like, you know what? Let's just move Sims into here. I'm honestly really lazy when it comes to the Sims. So I just move a lot of Sims in. In and out. Like, he's been in our house about three times an hour. Vera was in for a while. It's crazy. But anyways, there was a lot of explaining in this video. Holy shinobi. And this video is like 19 minutes. But anyways, I kind of want to go over and visit Annika and Carter's house for the remainder of this current household. Obviously, this current household had a lot of explaining. The other ones would be more gameplay because I do like like a lot of like I like I like a current household that's a mixture of like explaining what's going on and gameplay. So I tend to have mine that way. But anyways, who are we gonna bring? I think we'll just bring Emily and Carter to over to visit. Plus, I want to see their house. Um, travel. Let's go. Dora, Dora, Dora. We oh, we are not bringing Corey. Ah, <laughs> that the t Corey situation. You know what? We'll bring Veer too. Great. I love Veer. Veer is one of my favorites. Wait, why can't I see Carter? Um, this is like why can't? No, I meant John. Oh, there's John. But Veer is one of my favorite Sims of all time. And it, whoa, she really does not have a good relationship with Annika, which is kind of funny because she's been living with Annika since she was a kid. That's a little concerning, but hey, I'm not really here to judge, kind of, but not really. Oh, my game. Am I going to have to reboot my computer again? I just need to get a new capture card. I love this house. Can I just say that? Anyways, we are going to go to their house, which like, don't worry, guys. They live close. I like, I place people very strategic, strategically, usually. Like, look, Sabrina, who is John's best friend, lives right here. It's, it, it's, it's a good day. But we're going to go over there. Oh, it looks like John is gone. Oh, John's at our house and we're going to his house. Hopefully John will come back. But we are going to travel to that lot. Okay, we're at their house and it does not look like Veer came, which kind of sucked. For some reason, he's right there, whatever. I just love that I can see my house from here. Like, I really wish that you could just, like, you know, interact. Like, kind of, I could just go to my house and go here if they were in, like, a four-pod neighborhood. But hey... I'm not a creator of The Sims. And you know what? Carter's right here. So I think that we might just call Carter over. Because I'm not going over to Carter's house just so that I can see his annoying ass wife. <laughs> She's not annoying. I, I actually don't know why they're not friends. I thought they were friends. But oh, this outfit is so cute. It's kind of like a mom outfit. Like some of her outfits are like, you know, that's not very mom like. But some of them are. And I think that he'll just talk to his dad. Because him and his dad, as we saw before, are super close. So let's just go say, hey, what's up? Hello. That was funny. Right? That was pretty funny. I'm just kidding. That wasn't funny at all. I, I always like to tell my little brothers, like, how funny I am. I'm like, am I, let's become best friends. But I'm like, I'm the funniest person you know, right? And they're like, shut the fudge up. Because I don't swear on this channel. Just because I do, but I'm kind of afraid that, like, when you swear, you get, like, flags. Is that a thing? I don't know. I'm not a YouTuber. <laughs> I don't want my video to be taken down for swearing, though. I don't say anything that bad. Just the occasional F-bomb. It's fine. But anyways, I guess we'll talk. I honestly am kind of upset that they're not even friends. So maybe I'll work on them being friends. Maybe it's just because, like, they've known each other for so long. Why can I, like, hear my... Wait, why can I hear my audio? This is so weird. I'm not, like, okay with this. But I'll, I'll figure that out later. But I'm actually not okay with this. What if that means my mic's not recording? Fudge. I think it is. If it's not, I sincerely apologize. Actually, I don't because you won't even hear this. Aw. <laughs> Crying emoji. <laughs> but, yeah, I want them to be friends. And I want Veer over here. Like, Veer is honestly her best friend. Or was? No, they're still best friends. It's fine. Who she used to sleep with all the time. But then, we had to quit that out. Actually, like, I could keep it going. I wasn't really disgusted by it. I was just like... You know what? This is like he's married because I think we stopped when he got married. Honestly, I wasn't a fan of him getting married, but you know, whatever. But they'll just talk. Like I, there's always just relationships I kind of want to fix. Like I wish he was kind of closer with Veer too because everyone should be close to Veer. What are his traits? Why am I so obsessed with Veer? He's a music lover, and that's all we know. Does she know? Oh, yeah, he has good manners now. Ooh, pause. Sorry, that was a little excitable. We are going to talk to her, though, because I love her, too. 
oh my god wahoo in closet see i have wahooing on where it's like you can be friends with wahoo which i love because wahooing actually increases fun so it's <laughs> just i'm always wahooing with my friends in this game it's it's no big deal that's what happened with veer it's not like they were in like some committed ass relationship nope they were just friends with benefits she'll talk to veer and it's like not even awkward oh she's flirty that's a little awkward but knock knock joke i'm so excited and veer's actually pretty close with annika no you and veer are not romantic you and veer have never been romantic right they've never done anything romantic i probably sent them on a date before nope doesn't look like it and like I don't know, I feel like they're family-ish. Technically, they're not family, but which is good. <laughs> Kids are in the slept together. I'm so weird. Like I'm just like feel like I have to defend myself because you guys are probably be like, you perv. I'm not a perv. I swear. Oh, I forgot to say, she what's her name? Deja actually does not go to school. Which like I don't know. I I just I need a mod that lets my Sims Sims quit school. I had one, but it didn't work. My anyways, Deja doesn't go to school because I don't want her to go to school. She's like a runaway type thing. I don't know. But she is a writer, and she's also a writer on the side. We don't get to do much writing with her though, which sucks. But hey, they're all just chatting. I want to get closer with Veer because we haven't seen him for a while, which is super super sad. <laughs> I don't. That was a weird laugh. I'm sorry. It wasn't fake, if you're wondering, but it was weird. Oh, no. Debate game strategy? Sure. I kind of miss Annika in my household. Like, in all honesty, I'll probably move her back because I love, I loved working on the computer programming skill. <gasps> this part is going on for so long. Honestly, guys, I was planning, mm, I don't know. I was planning on doing a different video for next week, but I actually might just do this video again. Not, again, ugh, not exactly the same, but I might do, like, my current household number two. You know, because this one was just a lot of explaining. We didn't get to play, but I definitely want to do one where we get to play more. So, hey, maybe. I don't know. No promises, but there will definitely be another current household. I'm going to do these monthly, maybe. I don't know. It depends. I'm going to try to do the monthly, but again, like I've said a million times, I don't play my current household all the time. So, if there's no progress, then I'm not going to do it because this is not a let's play that much, is it? No. Yeah, I wish it was, <laughs> but it's not. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe there'll be another current house next week. Maybe there won't be. I have not completely decided, but there will definitely be another one of these videos. So, anyways, I hope that you are all having a wonderful day. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys all in my next, not all, maybe. I don't know. I hope you all <laughs> in my next video, though. Bye, guys.